Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test, but today we're not gonna be shooting a hunting ammo. Today we're gonna be shooting Hornady Black. Their 308 Winchester AMAX loads both the 155 and 168 grain versions. And here are your boxes for that Hornady Black 155 and 168 grain AMAX load for the 308 Winchester. Let's flip it around to the back. There is your promo information. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. It's the same for both bullet weights. Let's look at velocity. For the 155s, they're claiming 2850 feet per second. And for the 168s, 2,700 feet per second. It'll be interesting to see how close we get to that out of the 22-inch barrel of my Ruger American. Let's go ahead and pull some out and take a look. And both of them do look identical regardless of bullet weight, so I'm just going to show you the one. And there you go, red plastic tip, good clean looking stuff. I do kind of wish that they would load the Amex bullets with, I don't know, maybe a, a black tip or something. I swear this camera is driving me crazy. It's not focusing. There we go. I wish they would load it with like a black tip or something because it looks a lot like an SST bullet. Anyways, regardless, let's go shoot it and see how they do. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my white tailed deer design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are those velocities for the Hornady Black 155 grain AMAX load out of the 308. We had a minimum of 2760, a maximum of 2773 for an average of 2766. And here are the velocities for the 168 grain version of the same load. Minimum 2571, max 2605 for an average of 2591. And we'll get into velocity more here in just a second. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting both the 150 five grain Hornady Black Amax load and the 168 grain are out of the 308 Winchester. So let's just get right into it. The rain is starting to come down and I need to tear down the range. So I'll try to make this quick. Penetration on the 155s, we got 17 inches and 17 and a half inches. And as best as I can tell, one of the bullets completely broke up in the first block. I hit the block, I couldn't find an exit. I think it completely broke up. As far as wound track goes, these things do deliver quite the shock up front between about the two and six inch mark. Then it kind of tapers off. Real big shock up front. They don't penetrate deep. This is not a hunting load. I'm really doing this test kind of just for fun. And really these performed actually similarly to the Hornady Critical Defense 155 grain load in terms of penetration. Less shock than the Critical Defense load. Similar penetration though. Anyways, there you go. Let's hit up the 168s real quick before the lightning strikes me. Almost identical story with the 168s. I managed to recover two of the bullets. One of them, at least what's left of it, is at about the 20 inch mark. It's closer to 20 than 20 and a half, so I'll give it 20 inches. And then the other one right here, the block is a little clouded right there. There it is right there. That one actually held together halfway decent. It's at about 21 inches. It looks like it actually expanded some and held together. That one looks like it expanded and broke up for the most part. And then here is the jacket that separated off of the third bullet. 
And as best as I can tell, the rest of that bullet is broken up somewhere within the first block. There's a bunch of little chunks of lead and stuff in here. Similar story on the wound track with a 168. Didn't expand real quick up front. About the two inch mark, it just blows up, creates a big nasty channel going back. Actually, this wound track on the 168 is a bit more damaging than the 155. But again, this is just kind of just for fun. These are not hunting loads. These are target ammo. And I just kind of wanted to see what they would do. We got a little more penetration out of the 168s, a little less out of the 155s. We'll dig them out and see what we can garner. All right, y'all, I've got the bullets out of the gel blocks. Let's go ahead and hit the metrics real quick. Weight retention wise for the 155 grain Amax, we saw 69 grains and 95 grains. For an average of 82 grains retained weight, that's 46% weight retention. This is a match bullet, not a hunting bullet. I didn't know what to expect. This is what we got. It is what it is. For the 168s, we saw 30 grains, 108 grains, or no, my bad, 101 grains, and another 101 grains for an average of 77 grains retained weight. So we had two bullets that held together for the most part, and then one that totally blew up. And again, not surprised, you know, not disappointed. This is match ammo, not hunting ammo. I just wanted to see what would happen. And that's 43% weight retention. And then expansion wise, the 155s, we saw 0.62 and 0.65 inches for an average of about 0.64 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.1x expansion. For the 168s, we saw 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0.84 inches for an average of 0.78 inches expanded diameter that works out to 2.5X expansion. So those things are getting big. Velocity wise for the 155s, we saw 2773 for the high, 2760 for the low, so very tight spread there. For an average of 2766 versus the factory spec of 2850, so we came in 84 feet per second slow versus box spec. And for the 168s, our high was 2606, our low was 2571, a bit more of a spread. For an average of 2591 versus factory spec of 2700 feet per second, so 109 feet per second slow for the 168 grain load. And real quick, we'll hit impact velocity. So how fast were these bullets going when they hit the target at 100 yards? This is an estimate based on a formula, but it should be pretty close. The 155s should have been going about 2,572 feet per second at impact, and the 168 should have been going about 2,410 feet per second at impact. And then penetration wise, and again, these aren't hunting bullets, so it is what it is. The 155s went 17 inches, 17 and a half inches, and then there's a caveat to the penetration. The third bullet was unrecoverable. I think it completely shattered and broke up in the block. That's why I don't have a third bullet for the 155s. So I can't add that into the penetration calculation. I, I don't really know where it went. And so using the two we did recover, it works out to 17 and a quarter inches of penetration. And then for the 168s, we saw 20 inches, 21 inches. And then for the third bullet, I'm not counting it because the majority of it did break up. And all we recovered was a chunk of the jacket, which you see in the picture. So again, using the two main bullets that we had, we got 20 and a half inches of penetration. And kinetic energy wise, real quick, with the 155s, they had 2,633 foot pounds at the muzzle. And for the 168s, 2,504 foot pounds at the muzzle. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, so it's time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Black Amax ammo out of the 308 Winchester, the 155 and 168 grain versions. I just did this for fun. This is not hunting ammo, it's not defense ammo, it is match ammo, target ammo. I just wanted to see what would happen if you hit the gel blocks with them. And what happened is about what I would expect to have happen, which is low weight retention, a little bit wacky expansion, and honestly, of the bullets we recovered, they penetrated a little deeper than I thought they would. I thought we would actually see the bullets break up a bit more than they did. So at the end of the day, what would I use this ammo for? Well, exactly what it's intended for, which is target shooting. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. 
I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.